In this video, I'll cover the field work pricing update options. So in order to update the price for one work order, you can do that by clicking or going to the service location. And from here, click the edit series button, update the price to the new price and click update series. This update will only impact work orders as of the current date and forward. So as you notice, this has several work orders from the past that I have not completed. So I'm scrolling down to January 16th, 2022. It did update to 225 and anything prior to that date did not update. A second option, and this is a bulk price update option for multiple customers at one time. Go to sales and work orders. Once on this page, choose the start and end date to capture the price update time of year. So for this example, I'm choosing June 2022, and you'll also need to choose a service type. So in this example, I'm going to update rodent control. And then once I choose the date range and the service type, I click filter. From here, I sorted the price by amount. So lowest to highest. So essentially click the amount column, the arrow to the right. And I want to be sure that I increase pricing so that it's updated. So I'm going to select all, then click price update and all work orders equal to $50. I'm going to increase the price either by, let's say $15, or I can decrease and or change price too. But I also have an option to state whether I want to change price that's greater than 50 or less than 50. So for instance, the first example, I'll choose equal to 50, increase the price by 15 and apply that update and confirm. Now I will have to refresh my browser window to see those updates. So see all of these are now 65 and I'm going to run through another example. I'll select all and I'll click price update. And this time I'm going to say anything less than 74. And I'm going to say increase or change price to 75 so that everything matches. And I'm going to click apply update, confirm. And then again, when I click the reload page, Everything now is updated to 75 that wasn't prior to. Now I do have other accounts that are at even higher pricing. So let's say I want to re reduce those in the event that you did a temporary increase. We'll just show that as well. So I'm going to say anything that is greater than 76 we're going to change price to 75 and then apply. Confirm. And now when I reload the page again, everything that was higher than 75 now matches.